Siddur Slim Mitzur is a generous response for the Saka family and as well by Ayala and Avram Foreman. We are still in the 11th bracha of Hashiva Shavtenu Kevari Shona. We ask Hashem to restore our sense of justice, of justices. We're talking collectively, nationally, communally. We're talking internationally, a sense of justice in the way Am Yisrael, Eret Yisrael is treated. And we're speaking about ourselves, that we should carry ourselves and practice justice. Shoftim v'shotrim titein l'chol v'chol sh'arecha that all the gateways and entrances to ourselves, to our lives, we should be committed to a sense of justice. We mentioned, Hashem should eliminate, and we had several different interpretations, what's the difference between Yagon Vanacha? even though pain is inevitable, suffering is a choice, even though it's impossible to avoid challenges and pain in life, but we don't have to suffer. What the Yoatzeinu, what the Shoftenu and Yoatzeinu gave us, was the confidence and clarity to see that everything is from Hashem. So even complicated, difficult circumstances, we understood were not random or chance. Everything is carefully ordained, curated from above. And when we had Nevi'im, Shoftim, Yoatzim, Kevat Chila, the way we used to, then we had the confidence and the clarity that even when we had to navigate painful situations, that we understood it came from Hashem. The Sefer Baruch Sha'amar, as the uh, Torah Tamima and Siddur has the following. What does this have to do with Hashiva Shavteinu? He says, Gemara Chazal tell us in Gemara Baruch in Gemara Shabbos rather, Daf Kuf Lametes, Kol Peranu Sheba La Olam La Ba Ela Beshvil Dayana Yisrael. Whenever there are hardships for the Jewish people in this world, what brought it about, the catalyst for these challenges, these hardships, are Dayana Yisrael because people are corrupt. There's injustice. Va'amru ba'avon ino adin ve'ves adin kilkul adin. Chazal also tells us further the Gemara that because of Nadin, because justice is distorted, it's manipulated, it's corrupt, people are on the take, or people have all kinds of ulterior motives or agendas. Kilkal Adin, the destruction of true justice of Emes, of being done Din, Emes Lamito. So therefore, Cherev Ubiza, that's why there are terrible hardships, war and loss and the suffering and natural calamities. So says the Bar Shammar, that's the Pshara, Shiva Shavtenu Kavari Shona. He writes, Shiva Dayanam Tzadikim V'yesharam Kefi Shahay Lufnim U'memela Yemanu Atzara Sarabas Milavu Aleinu V'hasim Meni Yagon V'anacha So many of our problems come from a lack of leadership, a corrupt leadership, a distorted leadership, people who have ulterior motives, people who have judgment that's not clear, and that creates all kinds of problems in this world. So there's a direct correlation. It seems like what does one thing have to do with the other? But he suggests the Baruch Sha'amar, there's a direct correlation between Shoftenu Kavari Shana and Hasimani Yagon Vanacha. We can eliminate so much of that circumstance, so many of those hardships, if only we could get rid of that corruption. So we mentioned that, Umloch Aleinu Ata Shem, I was mispronouncing for some reason last night, Levadcha, not Levadecha, Umloch Aleinu Ata Shem Levadcha, you alone, Hashem, should rule over us. So last night we mentioned as opposed to the many variables, the many influences on our decision-making, we want it to be one thing and one thing only. What gives nachas ruach Hashem? Hashem, what do you want from us? That should be the only way that we make a decision. But maybe there's a further interpretation or understanding. The Degel, Degel Machan Ephraim says in last week's parsha, Ve'ela mishpat v'ashot tasim l'fnayim. Last week's parsha, Ve'ela levav. Hachibor, that connects Parshas Meshpatim with the Parsha before Parshas Yisro, the Vav tells us the connection of the Vav, that Ma the Rishonim were Sinai, Afeilam is Sinai, just as Parshas Yisro, just as the Aser Zadibros came from our Sinai, so to all the details, civil law, criminal law, tort law, all the interpersonal laws of Choshin Mishpat that are in Parshas Meshpatim, the Vav, Ve'ela, connects it all back to Sinai, it's all from Hashem. But the Zohar has an interesting comment. The Zohar says, Ilan inan sedurin de Gogula. The Zohar connects Mishpatim, the Vav, somehow to Gilgal, to reincarnation. I mentioned this last week in the Parashish year. What does it have to do with reincarnation? The Vav of Mishpatim, reincarnated souls. What does one thing have to do with the other? So he says, the Helegarach Mishif Gareb, the Amaros Taharos, was Nifta this year, Zatzal. He says, quoting from the Degel, Legamach Ephraim. He says, sometimes a person undergoes a based in a Din Torah and they're positive they're right. They're positive that they're taina, that their claim is righteous, and they're sure they're going to walk out the victor. And the based in Paskins, sometimes the based in Paskins against them. 
sometimes the Beisden Paskins, a pshara, a compromise, and they feel, what a terrible breach of justice. What an injustice. It's corrupt, it's wrong, how could this be? And they want to lose faith in the whole system, and Rabbanim, and Dayanim. We're not talking about corrupt Dayanim. We're not talking about corrupt Toanim. We're talking about legitimate, but the decision was against the particular litigant. It didn't go down the way that they hoped, the way that they wanted. That's the pshat. He says, Sometimes in an earlier carnation or incarnation, I don't know if reincarnation, I don't know what's earlier, a carnation or an incarnation, but an earlier version of who you were, so you were meant to lose that money. So in this world, in this version of who you are, in the reincarnation, the base them paskin against you. So rather than lose faith, realize that even when a base then paskins against someone, that too is part of Hashem's system of justice. We see, um Hashem, Hashem, you alone are in charge, you are alone and are correct. So even when justice isn't served, it can be frustrated, can appeal it, we can try to, we can try to influence the, the, the conclusion, but once we've fought our fought, made our arguments, HaKadosh Baruch Hu runs the world. So you see the connection between between Hashiva Shavtenu Kavarishona, the sense of justice, and Umloch Aleinu Atah Hashem Levadcha. Hashem alone is in charge. If you were meant to have that money, based on what a paskin for you, based on paskin against you, even though you think you're entirely in the right, it's because Hashem decided that you weren't meant to have that money, either because of something we did in this lifetime, or maybe if you believe in it from a pre- previous lifetime, before one was reincarnated. So the two are directly intertwined and direct, directly connected. Hashiva Shavtenik Rishana, give us a system of justice that we can have the confidence that even when it goes against us, when we think we are in the right, Hashem, Hashem, we surrender, we submit to you. You're in charge, you're in control. If it didn't go our way, it's because there is a reason and we never ever lose hope because we know it all comes from above. It all comes from you.